Hey guys, how's everybody doing? Hope everyone had a great weekend and enjoyed that extra hour of sleep we got last night. I know I definitely did. I'm back with another DVD update. I'm going to be showing off some more of my rare DVDs. I'm going to do something a little different this time though. Normally I show off some mostly horror DVDs in my videos and uh, some other rare DVDs in between there, but this video is going to be focused mainly on non-horror DVDs. So this could be anything from drama to comedy and uh, a few others in there. So to get us started, we have A Bronx Tale. This is a highly sought out DVD, very popular movie, very well liked movie. Um, this is the only release in Region 1 on DVD and it is out of print for a while now. Very hard to find, very rare. This was released by HBO. Take a look at the back. Uh, open it up briefly just so anybody who hasn't seen this on DVD can just check it out really quick. Chapter selection is there. As I said, I know it's a highly sought out DVD, very hard to find. Um, took me actually a while to find a copy of it. Glad I did. Great, great film. Next up, The Beastmaster. Two different versions of it, both from Anchor Bay. We have the THX version and also the Divi Max version. Both of these are out of print now. Uh, very hard to find either of these. These at one time were very readily available. I used to see them in stores all the time. I had picked them both up for a really good price. And I'm uh, glad I did now because, as I said, very hard to find now. On the inside quickly. Both have inserts. I believe this one has a pretty thick booklet inside. So that's, that's a nice version to have. Uh, Don Coscarelli is the director of The Beastmaster, if you guys haven't seen it. Don Coscarelli also directed Phantasm series, Papa Hotep. So, good film to check out. Definitely good. They also had a, a TV series based on the movie. So, definitely worth checking out the movie if you haven't. Next up, something that horror fans may be interested in. Uh, it's Wish Upon a Star. So, you know, don't question it just yet. Um, you know, maybe popular for the younger generation. I know this was a movie when I was younger, that was on a lot on the Disney Channel. Um, definitely a good movie. I just see stars Catherine Heigl from Grey's Anatomy, Knocked Up, you know, a lot of popular movies now. But why I say horror fans may be interested, because it also stars Danielle Harris, as you see there. Uh, she was a teenager when she filmed this movie. Um, you know, obviously in between when she did Halloween 4 and Halloween 5, and when she did Rob Zombie's Halloween. So it might be worth checking out for her alone. But a uh, great film, as you see, this Danielle right there. Um, I really enjoy it. It's definitely a good family film, good story, almost like a Freaky Friday, basically. You know, Daniel Harris and Catherine Heigl are sis sisters, um, both very different from each other, and they both wish upon a star to be the other sister, and their wish comes true. So, pretty interesting storyline. Definitely worth a look, especially, uh, you know, if you have younger children, you know, something, something the family can watch together also have Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Um, I mean, the movie itself is not out of print. It's uh, also available in a two-disc version, which I'll show you right here. This version is readily available. You can find this just about anywhere. This version right here includes two versions of the movie, which is the family-friendly version, as well in, as the enthusiast version. Um, if you don't know the difference, I would Google it. I'm not going to uh, get into it right now, but definitely worth checking out both versions of the movie. And, uh, as I said, this was the original release. Um, I know a lot of, not a lot of people really talk about this. I don't see this too much. Uh, not even, you know, used copies. I really don't find it too much, too often. So, thought I'd be interested to, uh, ch to check this out for you guys who haven't seen it. It has the original VHS cover art, which I think is pretty cool. You guys know how I love original cover art. I mentioned it in multiple videos. Return to Oz. This is an Anchor Bay release. Uh, this has been re-released in another version, but uh, this is a hard one to find. As I said, this is released by Anchor Bay. Um, very creepy film, I think, for uh, younger children. You know, you wouldn't think so. It's not. It's not a horror film, of course, by any means. But you know, there's a lot of people, even on YouTube, that I've seen say uh, this movie used to kind of scare the crap out of them when they were younger. So <laughs> it's kind of interesting uh, to check out just for that fact alone. Um, but I really like this cover, as I said. I really like this edition. It's it's very hard to find, as I said, um, out of print, of course. The discard, nice, some nice discard there. So, we'll see a lot of people with this version of it. Another Anchor Bay release, Supergirl. 
Um, all the Anchor Bay releases of this movie are out of print, very hard to find. This is the only one I've ever seen, and I, I picked it up, of course, as you see here. This is, I believe, the international version of the film. Uh, yes, and it has 10 minutes of footage not seen in the U.S. version, so that's pretty cool. I love the discard on it. And then, of course, comes with the little mini poster with the uh, chapter index on the back. And then another Anchor Bay release, Something Wicked This Way Comes. You know, as I said, as I said about Return to Oz, um, this has been re-released as well in a different version. But uh, you know, this is the version that's very hard to find. As I said, released by Anchor Bay. Same thing, nice cover out there. And it's just something I don't see too much on YouTube or in stores, so I thought it'd be interesting to show off to you guys. Very cool. Next up, this movie was highly sought out for a very long time before it was re-released. It is Mystery Science Theater 3000, the movie. This is the original release in the snapper case, as you can see. As I said, look how old this DVD is. I mean, it comes with, you know, DVD audio information, as if uh, people don't know anything about, you know, how to work the DVDs. So, it's pretty interesting uh, how old this DVD actually is. You see, there's the chapter index, the disc. And in the back. And as I said, this was a very, very expensive, valuable DVD at one time. Um, you know, not so much now because it's been re-released, but still, uh, I think it's pretty nice to have in the collection. I love this DVD right here. This is a Christmas story, of course. This is the original cover art. I absolutely love this image. I just, I just think it's great. It really fits the film. Um, this is the MGM release of the movie, uh, now owned by Warner Brothers, I believe. So, very hard to find. This is the only copy I've ever found of this snapper case edition, and I uh, had to pick it up right away. I was looking for this for quite some time. It's one of my favorite Christmas movies, if not my favorite Christmas movie of all time. So, really love having this version. I have just about every version of this movie on DVD, and this is probably my favorite. You know, not because of picture quality or special features, which it's lacking, but, as I said, just for the cover art alone. This is the original VHS cover art. Once again, love that old cover art, and uh, it's really, really cool to have. Also have License to Drive. I know this is pretty highly sought out. I know a lot of people want this film, like this film. Uh, very hard to find on DVD now. Anchor Bay release. So that's Corey Haim and Corey Feldman. Uh, great movie. I always loved this movie growing up. thought it was great. Uh, I still watch it every now and then if it comes on TV. You know, but... Um, Definitely cool to have it on DVD. So there it is. We also have Ladybug, starring Ronnie Dangerfield and Jonathan Brandis, um, both of whom are n are no longer alive. Um, so it's pretty interesting, you know, to, to see them both together in this film. I used to love this movie growing up. I thought it was a great, great comedy. Um, very funny movie. I have a lot of memories of, from watching this film when I was younger. Very hard to find this DVD now. Went out of print. Was never re-released and don't see any plans of it being re-released, so I'm not so sure uh, why it went out of print so quickly. But, you know, I mean, I shouldn't say so quickly. I believe it was in print for a couple of years, but, you know, you really didn't see too many copies of it around. It was kind of released, you know, a little quiet release, I should say, and uh, you know, a few copies here and there, and then once they were gone, it seemed like no stores ever got any more copies back in, and, you know, went out of print, and it was very hard to find after that, so it took me a while to track a copy down. Something a little different. Hard Knocks. This is the Chris Benoit story. Um, I say it's a little different because it's a WWE DVD, of course. Um, you know, basically, if you guys don't know the Chris Benoit story, I would just kind of look it up, Google it, uh, about what happened, you know, the big controversy of WWE basically writing them out of their complete history. All the figures were taken off shelves and basically uh, destroyed any of his merchandise, including this DVD. You know, all, everything was just recalled. Anything left on shelves was taken off. So, uh, this was very hard to get hold of. Um, you know, extremely valuable for some people, you know, mainly for wrestling fans. But, uh, thought it'd be cool to have. As I said, you know, this is never going to be re-released. Um, any copies left on shelves were, were taken off. So, as I said, this is going to be very, very hard to find. Another Ankin Bay release. This is Mischief. Good comedy. You know, good... Little high school film. 
uh, Fast Times at Ridgemont High type film. Uh, you know, there you go. Another one I know that's highly sought out: Party Monster, sorry, Macaulay Culkin and Seth Green. Um, I'm not so sure why it's so highly sought out. Uh, you know, it's, it's a decent enough film. Macaulay Culkin does a great job acting in it. But uh, you know, it's I don't know. It's, it's not really my 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 taste. So uh, I'm not like a huge fan of the movie, but I saw the DVD one day. You know, it was, this was a used copy. I knew how rare it was, so I just picked it up. Uh, you know, I didn't really think twice about it. I knew a lot of people wanted this film and had difficulty finding it, so I said, "Yeah, you know what? If it's something this rare it belongs in the collection." So there it is. Next up is one of my favorite movies, <laughs> Drop Dead Fred. Always loved this movie growing up. It has some great scenes, some very quotable lines in it. Um, just very entertaining all around. Really, really good film. Just there. Uh, I don't know why this went out of print and was never re-released because it just seems like one of those movies that uh, you know I think a lot of a lot of people would be interested in getting getting a hold of. But you know that's just my opinion. I'm not so sure if everybody else feels that way. But I know for me, growing up, this was definitely a film that I watched quite often. So glad I have it on DVD. Finally, last DVD for this update, Freaked, once again an Anchor Bay release. Um, I've never actually seen this movie. I've seen I've seen bits and pieces of it. I've never seen it, you know, from beginning to end. Um, looks quite interesting. Of what I saw, I did enjoy. Uh, this is an, a, a good, very good release by Anchor Bay. I love that cover art. All the different characters in it. Uh, definitely something different. Insert there. Two discs. There you have it, my Rare DVDs Part 6 video. Um, I'm going to continue to do these until I run out of Rare DVDs, so should be here for uh, quite a few more updates, but let me know what you guys think. Let me know if you've seen any of the movies that I've shown, if you own any of the DVDs, and uh, if I'm wrong about anything, which sometimes people are like, hey, that's not out of print, um, let me know. But I think for the most part, all of these are fairly rare still, so... As I said, just let me know what you think, comment, subscribe. I appreciate it all. Thanks a lot, guys.